Well, hey there, guys, and welcome to a brand new Ed's Retro Geek Out. In today's episode, we're going to be taking a look at Super 7's Ultimates TMNT figures. Yeah, these just came in the mail a couple days ago. I can't wait to open these up and actually finally see what I have gotten myself into because there's so many new uh, high end. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy lines out because you got the NECA movie ones, you got the cartoon ones, you got the Turtles in Time ones. There's so many Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figure lines that are uh, just exploding right now. And uh, well, I saw a RAF on one of these, so I have to pick up a RAF. So let's take a look at this thing, shall we? It's already looking, looking kind of nice. So it's a box within a box. Ooh, I like that. This is nice. Age is 14 and up, which uh, qualifies me for sure. On the outside box, you can't really tell too much. It's cool because they have like uh, extra layers on on there. I got that over here. What does it say? Ultimates. Yeah. Uh, this is actually the first Super 7 Ultimates figure that I'm opening up. Uh, yeah. It goes like that. So. I'm excited to see what's in here. I don't know. How do we open this up? So this is going to be Raphael. Let's have a look. Hot damn. <laughs> that is that is pretty nice. Okay, and it, they even kept doing like all the extra layered stuff on there you got the brick background coming back although a little bit greener he's really nicely displayed in this uh, window box as well so if you want to keep him in box we're gonna take him out and take a look at uh, all of his features and all of his weapons because he came with a ton this is this is, <laughs> this is amazing <laughs> And it was around that time that Ed realized Super 7 was going to be taking all his money with these Ultimate figures. Very nicely done. Uh, anything with that cool logo on it. Um, so basically this. So this one is pretty much based on the original action figures made by Playmage, which, uh, which I'm a very big collector of. So that kind of like... Um, spiked my interest but I was kind of uh, held back because of the price because these average around 60 to 70 bucks uh, which is like almost double of what a NECA figure will go for but um, well they're they're really making this an ultimate deluxe figurine for sure so um, let's take this guy out and also um, the other one I picked up from the first wave the foot soldier let's take a look at that one Ooh, nice, they put it in a different type of box. So, cool. And I don't, oh, they got like the foot soldier logo on there. Again, with like the extra layer things going on. And let's open this guy up. Ooh. Would you look at that? That is freaking cool. Once again, so many freaking weapons. And again, like perfectly displayed. Love the way like the foot symbol on the back over here is like in the extra shiny layer. <laughs> That's amazing. So yeah, um, let's turn around the camera. Let's take a look at these toys in uh, in, in close up. And here they are, we got Raphael and the Foot Soldier. It's been quite the struggle trying to get them out of the the packaging they were in, but hey, they're, they're looking cool, they're quite heavy actually, um, which is which is an okay thing for, for these deluxe toys, uh, I, I do believe. First thing that, that I kind of noticed is this figure is just bulked up with articulation so everything uh, you can you can kind of pose or, or, or work with you got two points of articulation over here at the shoulders um, this thing moves around then you got the elbows which you can also move you got the hands and there's a multitude of hands supplied together with this toy he also came with these size but there's different ones in there's actually two more pairs of size within the contents of the box. The belt is kind of made of softer rubber, I, I do believe, or like a softer plastic, which gives kind of like the feel of an actual cloth. 
Same thing goes for over here for the, the bandana he's, he's holding. And the only thing that, you know, kind of throws me off is this opening in the head in the back here. But then again, how often are you going to take a picture of your turtles when they're like that? <laughs> is that you can switch around the heads as well. So you can take this off, pop another head on. It came with some cool accessories as well. Um, most of them are just the ones that the original toy came with apart from the pizza point <laughs> which I just placed in here um, so yeah he came with a slice of pepperoni pizza he came with he came with the turtle communicator right here and this weird looking weapon I always thought this was like the most badass weapon <laughs> back in the day for Raph that that kind of like just fit in there uh, on the original one. Articulation wise, so you got the head that can move anywhere. Nothing really going on over here for the shell like the NECA ones do. So, you know, he can wiggle his hips like that. <laughs> and then of course he can move that part. He can move uh, his knees. He can, can make him bend like that. And the feet also have things like this now he just came out the box so he's <laughs> he's kind of tough to, to move around and I don't want to break him but yeah this is an excellent looking figure awesome honestly then we got the foot soldier who didn't come with an extra head he did come with some extra hands he came with loads of weapons as well looking really nice and he's actually standing up straight he's actually taller than Raphael over here. Oh, yeah, already popping him down like that. <laughs> this guy has definitely got the look. Um, the only thing that was weird about this one is this weapon is so small compared to the original one. So I'm not sure, like, this this should have been bigger. It's, it's quite weird how, how that turned out. Um, so this doesn't have the same uh, clock like properties um, as, as, as the turtles uh, do for their bandanas or something. It's, it's a bit rougher, a bit less stretchy, this part right here. Um, but yeah, apparently the foot soldiers do have an issue where a really small joint is keeping the arms together. Some have actually shown up um, broken, so <laughs> that that's too bad if, if that happens to you, but uh, Hopefully not, so be careful when you're trying to bend this stuff. Um, once again, you, you can move the head around like this. No extra head was included in the box, but there's not really much expression you can pop onto these. So I kind of get that. Then the, the shoulders, can they move around? Yeah, they have the extra point over here. But some of it is compromised thanks to the extra protection wear they have over here. So the arms, they move. On, uh, obviously the hands you also get loads of sets of, of different hands uh, added they don't have like the wiggle thing uh, but you know you can make him stretch you can move this around and got joints in in the feet as well and so that's all really really nice actually this is looking freaking cool Raphael he, he stands up straight he, He'll stand up quite easily, but the foot soldier, he's, you know, top heavy, so he's a little bit um, harder to get him to, to stand up like he should. Now, Raphael, he came with loads of extras, you know, you got the extra head sculpt over here you can pop on. You got the unopened turtle communicator, an extra weapon that was, you know, in, I don't think this was in, in the first release, and that weird thing. Um, nobody knows this name, but this was always like the weird extra <laughs> plastic toy, which I always thought like, this is just a stick, right? This thing is supposed to come off. Uh, you got some ninja stars and you got the differently painted size with uh, a little bit more of a chrome feel to it. Then you get a second layer of weapons just that you can pop on these and you got the original weapon rack recreated so over here we have another set of size you have all the weapons that that were in there you even have the weapon rack that's 
freaking amazing. Um, love that they put this feature in as well. Then we take a look at the other weapons for the foot soldier. You got some ninja stars. You got an extra gun right here. And uh, another gun over here. Minimal detail put on there, but I, I don't think it's necessary. At least they, they put like the tiny little chrome part on there. Once again, you're going to get four more sets of hands uh, which can accompany you when creating the perfect um, stance for your foot soldier and the original weapon rack. Uh, once again, although, you know, these were never included in the original, I think this weapon this weapon right here you did get this thing and this thing once again it's so small why is it so small then obviously we're gonna have to compare these to the original toys that they're based on and they did a damn terrific job they solved this thing where you know the foot soldier is always crouching but over here you can see that this is the original weapon and here we have the newer one, which is actually smaller. So, I don't know, Every, everything everything got bigger apart from that weapon, which is kind of weird. Um, but then again, you know, look at these two beautiful foot soldiers. That's nice. They went with a bit more of a darker color. Yeah, something like that. Um, anyways, um, I'm probably not gonna get like a foot soldier army of these because they're just too darn expensive, but it was really nice to get one, uh, one of these for sure because, oh, I had this figure as a kid back in the day. Raphael is probably my favorite turtle, so that's why I decided to jump on this Ultimate train and, uh, get that one. Then I saw the foot soldier was like, gotta have him. So yeah, over here you can see a little baggy for that weird weapon i don't know where that came from um but yeah as far as the head sculpt let's take a little look here it's actually looking quite okay the size on a new ultimates one are way more sophisticated more pointy less bulky like this but they did uh manage to retain that bulkiness that the original turtles had even when placed next to the foot soldier you'll see the turtles are a bit smaller um, so this guy's really towering right over him no worries he's just gonna knock him out just like that so yeah um, I think uh, these ultimates are, are gonna be terrible for my cash flow and my my bank account honestly <laughs> I think they really did a terrific job in recreating all of these um, original Playmates toys. <laughs> you know I already pre-ordered a couple. I already pre-ordered Mutagen Man. Be sure to leave down in the comments below which original Playmates figurine you would like them to make in the Ultimates line. I think we definitely need to have the Storch Shell Turtles once again because the sculpts are so crazy on this one. Uh, that would be freaking amazing to see that. Uh, I think, as uh, apart from that, you know, Wingnut, they need to make that one. And, um, yeah, a Technodrome. Make a freaking Technodrome that can fit loads of these in there and, you know, a sewer play set. I'd, I'd, be, I'd be all over that, you know. So, um, yeah, leave it down in the comments below, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Hopefully you enjoyed this little review of the ultimate super 7 team and the action figures and yeah hopefully i'll see you in the next video leave a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel if you haven't already for more toy content and if you like to do more you can always check out my patreon page thanks so much for watching guys and let's see you in the next video see you later bye bye bye